Saturday became Sunday in Niger. People who backed the country's winning junta celebrated. Undaunted by the threat of foreign intervention as an ultimatum to reinstate the civilian president expired. This supporter says ECOWAS forces will have to drive over their bodies to get to the presidential palace. The bloc of West African nations, known as ECOWAS, has drafted a plan for possible military action unless democracy was restored by Sunday. There is a, a steely determination by uh, our heads of state and government to put an end to it and to make an example of Niger. But coup cool leaders haven't stepped down, and there is no sign they will. Canada is suspending direct aid to Niger's government, but says other assistance to vulnerable populations will continue. A statement from Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie says Ottawa supports ECOWAS mediation efforts for the return of constitutional order in Niger. The democratically elected government must be reinstated immediately. It was not immediately clear on Sunday what ECOWAS will do next. If they do nothing, they risk endorsing another power grab in West Africa. Since 2020, three of Niger's neighbours have experienced five coups. If they go ahead and intervene, there are concerns the crisis could spill over into a regional war. Juntas in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso have promised to come to Niger's defense, saying an intervention would be a declaration of war against them too. In Niger, the military junta cited the continually deteriorating security situation as a core justification for the coup. But according to a crisis mapping project, in the first six months of the year, political violence has decreased by nearly 40 percent, a trend many worry could now be reversed as the dust from the coup begins to settle. Karen Seolin, City News.